What's up, guys? It's been it's been a hot minute. Uh, I finally got the last uh, mini console that I was missing. I had the Neo Geo. I have the uh, NES. I have the Super Nintendo. I have the Sega Genesis, and I have the Turbo Graphics. Granted, yeah, I don't have the Famicom or the Super Famicom Mini, or the uh, Core Graphics or the PC Engine Mini. But I finally got the PlayStation Mini. Finally, I got it off of a uh, offer up actually pretty recently. Uh, well just today <laughs> actually for uh, 60 bucks and uh, it really wasn't too bad of a deal I don't think necessarily but uh, you know it came with the box too which I'm stoked about and the guy who I got it from <clears throat> not only gave me this for the to uh, upgrade it and add more games gave me this one gave me this one he gave me this one he gave me this one and he gave me this one. Yeah, I think he said only one of them didn't work, but I can always do Bleem Sync or Auto Bleem later and I'll figure it out. I gotta get the BIOS files and the ROM files so I can play, uh, you know, Dreamcast. I'd love to put yeah, Dreamcast and some Sega Saturn and N64 games on there. Maybe even some Panasonic 3DO or possibly even some PC Engine CD-ROM games too. I just gotta get a fat ass uh, hard drive or a USB flash drive. But anyway, like, look at the size comparison, though. Like, it's incredible. Like, look how much smaller this is compared to the OG. Like, the OG is great, but I mean, this thing, that's insane. Like, the, here, for example, here, watch. Let me grab something. The Turbo Graphics Mini is probably the biggest mini, for sure. I like this thing a lot, though. It runs really well. The interface is great. The secret games within it. I think it's like six secret games. Anyway, but like look at this thing compared. Like this thing's a beast compared to this. But it also does have the back part, which uh, covers up the HDMI as well as the AC adapter. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But I just wanted to show you guys a size comparison. This thing is pretty cool though. Yeah, I mean, there's a fight pack. There's like an RPG pack, an action adventure. Um, shooters, shmups, like that kind of deal. But this thing's so light, super cool. They got the aesthetics right. I see the open button. I see the little, it's got the little like braille beads right here for when you use to open and close the uh, actual container, you know, for the discs, pretty cool. Reset button, everything it looks like the original. The sides, even the bottom looks the same with like the ventilation. It's pretty dang cool. I think the only thing that really doesn't do it for me is I'm not going to play Destruction Derby. Final Fantasy VII, I already have a hard copy of it in the original. Grand Theft Auto, the old ones are hit or miss. Jumping Flash, whatever. Metal Gear Solid, yeah, I mean, it's classic, of course. Mr. Driller's pretty cool, I give him that. Odd World's always cool, too. Rayman's cool, too. It looks good on Saturn as well. The, Resident, uh, the original Resident Evil's here. Super Puzzle Fighter, that's a really cool one, too. Super Puzzle Fighter's really cool on uh, Sega Saturn. It's really cheap on the Japanese Saturn. Uh, siphon filters, I mean, I was always more of a Splinter Cell kind of fan myself. I'm not really a big fighting game fan. I mean, I have some just because they're classic. I mean, Wild Arms is cool. The second one is on one of these uh, flash drives. Twisted Metal is a classic, too. I mean, that's why they made so many of them, right? Because people love to play those. But, I mean, I'm looking forward to breaking into this. And I'll show you a little comparison, too. I like how they borderline try to get the real deal, original look to the controller going into the, uh, you know, now it looks like the original. That's really cool, the aesthetics that they decided to go with that. Even the memory card slots up top, which obviously you don't need because you can save state this thing. But a really cool idea. I mean, compared to the original, probably because the cord's on there as well as this adding weight, but it's, it's pretty dang close. It's pretty close. This, my right hand, obviously this being the uh, newer one, this one being the older model. It's a slightly different color too. I think the newer one's a little brighter, but granted that makes sense that this one's a little more faded. It's like, you know, 25 years old now. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty close. This one definitely feels lighter compared to this one. There's probably a lot more mechanics in it comparative to this, that's why. But uh, you know, I just wanted to show you guys that I was able to finally complete my uh, mini collection. Granted, yeah, I don't have the European or Japan versions of these uh, consoles, but I'm really looking forward to, you know, breaking into it with these uh, True Blues that I have here, and five of them. I mean, for 
Jeez, man, for 60 bucks, including the box. It's always hard to find the box for these things. Um, and it's so elusive. I feel like this one was the hardest one for me to find for some reason. Uh, the Turbo Graphics Mini I was able to find fairly easy. I bought the um, Neo Geo online. The Genesis you can still get pretty much anywhere for like 40, 60 bucks. Um, Super Nintendo and the Nintendo, those were the first two I got because granted, yes, I'm a little more nostalgic for a Nintendo property, but you know, anyway, I'm, I'm definitely willing to branch out and try all these others for sure. Um, yeah. Auto Bleem and Bleem Sync, here I come. I'm going to hack this thing and we'll uh, hopefully play together. See you guys later. Thanks.